Hello everyone, Ben Woodruff here with another Falconry video. Uh, this one is going to be about drone training and specifically trying out a new drone platform and testing to see how it will do. Now, if you're not familiar with the purpose of drone training, when falconers are training falcons specifically, uh, we often engage in a type of hunting in flight style called waiting on, which is where you train your falcon to go up above you and circle hundreds or even thousands of feet above you. There waiting on. Waiting on what? Waiting on you to or your dogs to flush up a duck, a pheasant, whatever, and then they dive down. So in this instance, height is playing to their advantage. But a new bird doesn't always know that. And they're just, uh, we call it clipping daisies when they're flying low. So there's a lot of different techniques uh, over the years, over the centuries, that falconers have used to try to get them to go up. Uh, in my younger falconry days, the most innovative things were using kites or balloons. Uh, with a kite, you would, on a windy day, have this giant kite system with a setup that would disengage. They could fly up, grab a lure, and then go down. On a non-windy day, you could use a giant purpose-built balloon. I mean, not giant, but big enough that most of us couldn't fit them in our trucks. Uh, we'd have to rent um, helium tanks and fill them up, and, and it, again, it worked. But if it was a little too windy but not enough to use your kite, you were out of luck. Uh, it, it's like, you, you, so either or, it was always tough. Well, in recent years, drones have been developed and drones that can stay in one place. And so there's been a lot of work done, and I have flown Falcons for a number of years with drones. They're amazing systems to get the birds up quickly. And actually, the fact that the drone makes a noise actually works to the advantage. It's almost like a call or a whistle, and the bird knows, oh, I hear the bzzz, okay, fly up to that sound. And so it's, it's more stimulating a reaction from your Falcon. So... The, the drone platform that I've been using has been the Phantom Series drones by DJI. Uh, I've really enjoyed using these, had a lot of success, and I still, up until this year, have been using them for training falcons. One of the nice things is on the bottom, these uh, rests or legs that they have work perfectly for uh, making a crisscross and attaching your setup down below. Now, normally with a drone, you have some line going down, you know, 10 feet until you hit uh, your parachute box or your parachute tube. Now, the parachute tube I use is really good. It's about $26 from Western Sporting Publications. Uh, I've used this one for a number of years. It's never failed me. It's worked perfectly. This parachute system, then you have your lure dangling down from that. And then the falcon flies up, grabs the lure, the parachute pops out and the falcon races to the ground with it to get their reward that you'll give them. Well, the, for the past three years for photography and for filming, I've been using a new drone also by DJI, which is the Mavic Pro. The Mavic is a really, it's a very compact, very small looking drone, but it's incredibly powerful. It has uh, three speed settings. It has uh, a sport mode, a standard mode, and a tripod mode where it goes incredibly slow. And I've just I've been very impressed with it. Um, and I wanted to see can we use this for training falcons? Can it handle the weight? And uh, because it's so much more technologically advanced than the Phantom series, with additional sensors to keep from crashing. Uh, is there a way to use this? The bottom of this drone does not have any natural good attachment place for a lure and a parachute setup. So what we're going to do in this video, uh, this is this is our my first test. I just want to test the weight first and foremost. And then we've got some new Falcons this year we're going to be trying. So my friends and I on this setup, if it works. Trying to come up with a good way to attach this. Uh, I'm just brainstorming and shooting in the dark at the moment. So I'm going to tie some imitation sinew around the entire body of this drone. Now, this is not a permanent solution because this blocks in the battery. And so this is a one-time use. But this, is, again, is a test to see can this handle the weight and can this drone fly even though there may be some interference on the bottom with some of the infrared sensors. One of the things I liked about the Phantom drones is that you could launch them from your hand and you could grab them out of the air. The sensors on the fan on these Mavics don't really allow for that sort of setup. So we're going to go ahead and launch it directly from the ground. And 
it seems to be handling things just fine. Now, one of the things I noticed while recording this was that it was giving me a lot of warnings about the sensors uh, that it was sent the the directly underneath sensors. It was feeling the drag, and the drone was formulating and understanding something's wrong. And at first, it tried to auto land, but I overrode it and went up, and it seems to be able to handle this weight just fine. There's a little bit of a breeze, so that should be factored in as well. But it seems on this initial test that the Mavic Pro flat platform can handle the weight of a parachute and a medium weighted lure just fine. So uh, in the coming weeks and coming months, we'll do more experiments and uh, start getting these new Falcons up and running. But this was our initial test. Wanted to test the product out and see if it works. And again, seems to be able to handle the weight just fine. So I will try this season using this instead of the Phantom series. I uh, hope you find this video useful. Um, if you're trying to do drone training again, I will produce some more videos on this. Uh, feel free to like these videos down below or check out the rest of my Falconer videos. And as always, happy hopping.